Hey gang, today we're going to continue with some more factoring trinomials. In our first example, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6. So again, like yesterday, we multiply 1 times 6 gives us a factor of 6 or a product of 6. Now we need to find the factors of 6 that have a uh, sum of negative 5. So 6 we know is 1 and 6. We also know it's 2 and 3. Now we need negative 5. And we also have a positive product here. So in order to get a positive product, we need two negatives or two positives. And there's no way to make a negative with two positives. So that means these both have to be negative. So now we have to think, well, which one of those is going to give us negative 5? Well, negative 1 and negative 6 makes negative 7, so it has to be negative 2 and negative 3. So we replace the negative 5 with the negative 2 and negative 3. We get x squared minus 2x minus 3x plus 6. We group this and group this. Take out x because the x squared and 2x have that in common, and we get x minus 2. Take out negative 3, and we get x minus 2 again because negative 3 times x is 3x and negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. That makes my common binomial x minus 2 and leaves me with x minus 3. Final answer. Okay, and if I double distributed there, that would again give me this trinomial. Okay, let's try the next one. Number 2, 10x squared minus 9x plus 2. So we do 10 times 2, which gives us 20. And we need the factors of 20 that have a sum of negative 9. So again, we have positive 20 as our product. So that means we're going to have two negatives for our sum. So we could have negative 1 and negative 20. We could have negative 2 and negative 10. We could have negative 4 and negative 5. And those are really our only options. And the only one that gives us negative 9 would be the negative 4 and negative 5. So we have 10x squared minus 5x, I did that because I want the 5 with the 10, minus 4x plus 2, group and group, take out 5x, I'm left with 2x minus 1, 5x times 2x makes the 10x squared, 5x times negative 1 brings me back to negative 5x, then I bring out negative 2x, or no, not negative 2x, just negative 2, and I'm left with x minus 1 again. 2x minus 1 again. Whoa, Mrs. Kiesler, stay with it. 2x minus 1. Because 2x times 2x is 4x, and 2x minus times negative 1 is positive 2. So now I have the same common binomial right here. So I can factor that out. That's 2x minus 1. And when I factor that out, I'm left with 5x minus 2. Leaving my final answer is 2x minus 1 equals 5, times 5x minus 2 is equivalent to this trinomial. All right, number three. Now we have x squared plus x minus 12. So we have 1 and 12 here, 1 and negative 12. When we multiply 1 times negative 12, we get negative 12. And since we have a product that's negative, we need 1 positive and 1 negative to make a sum of a positive 1. So we could have 1 and negative 12, or we could have negative 12 and 1. We could have 2 and negative 6, or we could have negative 2 and positive 6. We could have negative 3 and 4, or we could have negative 4 and 3. So which one of those is going to make positive 1? It would be negative 3 plus 4. So we have x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 12. And again, that's because 1 is made by negative 3 and 4. This gets grouped and this gets grouped. We factor out x from the first one, leaves us with x minus 3 because x times x is x squared, and x times negative 3 is negative 3x. In the second one, we can factor out 4, and again, we're left with x minus 3, because 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times negative 3 is negative 12. Now, my common binomial factor is the x minus 3, and that leaves me with x plus 4. So the two binomials multiplied together that equal this binomial, polynomial or trinomial are x minus 3 times x plus 4. Okay, number 4, 2x squared minus 9x plus 10. So we do 2 times 10 first, that gives us 20. And we need the factors of 20 that give us a sum of negative 9. This one looks familiar to one we did before, so it winds up being negative 4 and negative 5. 
So we have 2x squared minus 4x minus 5x plus 10. It's just reversed. We can factor out 2x, and that leaves, with, leaves us with x minus 2, because 2x times x is 2x squared, and 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Then we can factor out negative 5, and that leaves us with x minus 2 again, because 5 times x is 5x, and negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10. So our common binomial factor is x minus 2, and when we factor that out, we're left with 2x minus 5. So the trinomial 2x squared minus 9x plus 10 is equivalent to x minus 2 times 2x minus 5. If you're going to try 5 through 10 on your own, I'll be around to help you out again to make sure that you're getting this topic as it is really important and is definitely going to be something we continue to use throughout the school year. All right, so you're back for number 11 now. This one looks a little bit harder because it's 4x squared minus 5xy minus 6y squared, but it's the same process. So we start with 4 times negative 6, which is negative 24. And we find our factors of negative 24 that have a sum of negative 5. So negative 24 is negative 1 and 24, or the reverse, negative 2 and 12, or the reverse, negative 3 and 8, negative 4 and 6, and that would be it. So we need the one that's going to give us negative 5. Well, negative 3 plus 8 is positive 5. So if I make it 3 and negative 8, it would be negative 5. So now I replace, and I have 4x squared plus 3x minus 8, actually not 3x, 3xy, minus 8xy minus 6y squared. Grouping and grouping. From the first set, I can take out just one x, since both of those have an x in common, and that leaves me with 4x plus 3y left over. And then from the second, I can take out negative 2y, and negative 2y times 4x would give me negative 8xy, and negative 2y times positive 3y would give me negative 6y squared. So my two binomials that are or in the center there will be the same. So my common binomial factor is 4x plus 3y, and that leaves me with x minus 2y. So those two multiplied together bring me back to my original trinomial. Okay, so with that said, you guys are going to try number 12 on your own. Again, touch base with me before moving on to your exit ticket.